Today's video is an absolute banger. I'm gonna go get my brother brick number two. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just when we thought one trip was enough, we're gonna listen to the help of trip number two. We're gonna play the brand new, most epic game ever. Imagine Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic had a baby. And then imagine Pokemon and Moonscape had a baby. Then imagine those two babies grew up and then they had a baby and then out came Alestros. Today's video, I'm gonna go and listen to help my brother and we're gonna go play this absolute epic game. I'm excited, let's go. My face. I told you today we're going gonna on. play Elestrals. Elestrals? You get revenge from me destroying you and Yu Gi Oh our whole childhood. Do you really want this today? Yeah. You're playing Elestrals today? Yes. You have to come into the bathroom while I'm here? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that, now I'm definitely gonna beat you. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Finish up your song. All right. High School Musical 3. And when you're done, come on here. All right. All, All right. right. We're breaking free. <laughs> so today's video, I've been listening to the help of Triff number two. Yes. How's it going, guys? I'm gonna teach him how to play this new game, Illustrals, and I want you guys to pay attention as well. This game is absolutely amazing. I'm a little bit addicted to this game. I played a lot, uh, so it's a little unfair for my brother because just like in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the planet, and now I probably am the best Illustrals player in the planet. This whole video, I'm gonna show you guys how amazing Illustrals is, so I'm super excited to play. Also super excited, finally see my brother. Hey guys, so I'm Drift Gaming's brother, so I've known him my whole life, and you know, I really liked having him as a brother growing up, but I never really see him anymore. Like he's always traveling, tourneys, this and that. I mean, like the other weekend, he said, we're going to Wonderland together. I'm like, cool, I gotta see my big bro. We're back at it. So I'm sitting there waiting, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. This guy doesn't show up. I get a FaceTime from him. He's like, I'm in Cuba. He's all happy. Like, oh, look, I'm in Cuba. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, what, what about me? Anyways, so when, when Triff tells me, we're gonna play Elestros. I'm like, all right, I'm at. What's Elestros? I gotta spend time with my bro. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get it. But I can't lie, part of me wants to stick it to him, show him, you don't got a chance against me, buddy. You're gonna leave me there, you think I'm the little bro? I'm gonna beat you at your own game. <laughs> Games are fun and all, but you guys can never forget, family will always be number one. And you know what? I probably should spend more time with my brother, as should you guys with your family as well. So I love you guys, extremely happy for life right now. Life is absolutely extraordinary. So I hope you guys have an absolutely incredible day today. And it is my honor to give to you guys Elestrals. I really think this game has potential to be like the new Yu-Gi-Oh, the new Pokemon. It has serious potential to blow up. I've had an absolute blast playing this game. So it's my honor to show you guys this game. Let's get into it. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestral's Card Game. Available now on Kickstarter. So the world has just seen Elestral's for the first time. If you're here for Yu-Gi-Oh! Whatever. Stay tuned for the whole video. You will not regret it. This is a brand new game that's going to literally be the biggest game in the world one day. Now it's time to teach my brother how to play and teach you guys how to play. So pay close attention. I'm going to post a link down below. A full like 40 minute guide how to do it. I'm going to put a little few minute guide right now how to do it. And at the end, I'm going to... I'm gonna whoop your ass, man. <laughs> we'll see about the just last how, part, Just man. how when we were kids, I whoop your ass in every single sports game we play. I whoop your ass in fighting. Oh, in fact, I'll whoop your ass now. <laughs> An Elestral's game consists of four zones. You have your Elestral zones and your rune zones. Your deck, your spirit deck, your stadium zone, and this is the underworld, AKA the graveyard. In Elestral's, you start your turn with five cards and there are four phases, a draw phase, a main phase, a battle phase, and an end phase. Dueling's players are loving it. No main phase two, baby. And the point of the game is simple. There are no life points. All you have to do is take your opponent's spirit deck from 20 to zero. So unlike in Yu-Gi-Oh! and very similarly to Magic, cards require a mana cost. Don't worry, Yu-Gi-Oh! players, I know you're in shambles, you just heard mana, you're like, what's mana? It's me, I'm a mana! And if you look at my five cards, a lot of these cards are extremely powerful, such as Nectar of the Gods. For those who don't know what this does, it's Pot of Greed. For those who don't know what that does, it draws two cards. So in order to just draw two, I can't just draw two by itself. I need to pay the mana cost, the enchantment cost. The enchantment cost of this is two spirits. You can look through your spirit deck at any time. You only have 20 and you can choose 
which spirits you like between the thunder water wind earth fire they're all your choice depending on your deck i'm going to be removing two thunder spirits to trigger my nectar of the gods allow me to draw two cards that's how you activate your runes runes aka spells and traps you can use as many as you like per turn no matter how many a mana slash enchantment cost it costs however for elestrals you can, just like how in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can only normal once per turn, you can only cast an Elestral once per turn. And in order to do so, you have to pay the enchantment cost. You're able to summon this card in attack or defense. In Yu-Gi-Oh, you can only normal summon in attack. In Elestrals, you can cast in attack or defense. But it will require one Thunder Spirit as an enchantment cost to play it. And it has an effect. The effect is like Pot of Duality. It allows me to look at the top three cards of my deck and choose the best one and add it to my hand. Opponent summons P-Gust with an attack of two. He is not able, just like in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you have lower de attack than my defense, you cannot kill my guy. My Spark Kit has four attack. So my Spark Kit is able to destroy his monster. At this point, all his cards go, these cards go to his, his underworld. And now he has an open field. So my Astrab can attack. However, this does not mean that he loses two spirit points. I have one spirit underneath Ass Rabbit, which means that one spirit from his spirit zone goes to the, his underworld. If, however, I had, for argument's sake, five spirits underneath Ass Rabbit, just for argument's sake, and if I attacked, I will be able to get rid of five spirits. And the name of the game is to get your opponent's spirit cards from 20 to zero. Alec! You don't stand a chance, brother. All this talk telling me that you're the better Elestrals duelist. We both know I'm the better Yu-Gi-Oh player. Who's the better Elestrals player? Well, that's me. I'm the better one. Technically, we don't know the better Yu-Gi-Oh player. We haven't dueled since I was about eight. Yeah, what happened when you were eight? I don't remember. So all I'm going to say is I'm going to save the talk. I'm going to let my play do the talk. And if I beat you in this... Just know I'm coming for all the belts. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. So, in Elestrals, to decide who goes first, we have to roll a dice. But I don't have a dice. So instead, let's arm wrestle for it. <laughs> you know what, little brother? I'm the older brother. So mom will be happy if I let you decide to go first. You know what? I appreciate that gesture. I'll go first. Sounds right. good. Good luck. Good luck. In Elestrals, you, you draw five cards to start your turn. But turn player does not draw. <laughs> okay, my brother. My hand's amazing. Hey, hey. That's okay. That's okay because I got one of the best cards. One of the most underrated Elestro cards right here. Foamy. Foamy? That's right. I love Foamy. I'm going to set Foamy in defense position. Its effect, when it's destroyed in battle, you can special enchant any one spirit water Elestro. Wow. From the deck. Okay, so you casted your Foamy in defense, similarly to you get like a no normal summon, but in yes, defense. I casted it. And you right. casted it, and you used your one water spirit. So in, in Illustrials, you need, in order to normal summon or special in this game called cast, you need to expend your life points. So your spirits, or your, like your life points are your spirit deck. You have 20 of them. So my brother now has 19 left. One step closer to your defeat. <laughs> and look at this foamy, ugly. Three defense. I'll destroy yeah, it with my cards. My foamy like that. That's your that foamy's card. ugly. I love that card. No, it's not. It's ugly. It's not. Let's go. Man. I'll show you a beautiful Just card. Wait. What a handsome card. The most handsome of cards. Nectar of the gods. Ah, so for really? Nectar of the gods, this is like pot of greed. Uh, but I need to expend two, two of my enchantment cost, two of my spirits to trigger my Nectar of the gods. This allows me to draw two cards. And every card in my deck is better than my brother's. So now, <laughs> I'm going to summon Necroff. Necroff, I'm going to have to... <sighs> it has an enchantment cost of one fire spirit. This card is good, man. So the effect of Necroff, it has five attack for only one enchantment cost. This is like a yeah, 2,000 yeah. attack normal summon monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! But it has a great effect. Whenever it destroys a monster by battle, my opponent, a.k.a. my brother... AKA the person who's about to lose a duel, AKA the person with the almost cool beard as I do, but not just as cool, is gonna lose a spirit from his extra deck by, by from his spirit deck from destroying his monster. So I'm is now. That how it works? All yeah, right. when it destroys right. uh, uh, an, an opponent's Celestial by battle, it's uh, that happens. Wait a sec. You think that's all I'm gonna do? Oh, Lord. Do you think that's all I'm gonna do? 
What's next, Trifka? Here's what's happening next. I am now gonna activate. Every single card, uh, every single deck has a Divine Rune. The Divine Rune is the best card in the deck. It's like the best spell in the deck. But consider it like a continuous spell that is just always on the field. And that is Hephaestus! Trash. Think of like... Your, for only an enchantment cost of one, I have the ability to put three more Fire Spirits underneath it. And then every single turn, I will be able to utilize its effect to remove one, but I could disenchant one fire spirit from Hephaestus to search my deck for an artifact. Now an artifact is not the artifact you guys are thinking of. Scythe will not be touching the field. This artifact is equivalent to the equip spell in Yu-Gi-Oh! Hammer of Hephaestus! Well, I search my Hammer of Hephaestus and I'm going to empower my Necro of Balestral. Uh, this does require, this is quite a steep requirement of my fire spirits. But with these cards in the field, my Hammer of Hephaestus and my Necroff will now be gaining one attack for every enchanted rune on my field. Gaining its attack now to seven attack. And on top of that, because Hephaestus is on the field, they cannot be targeted by opponents by my opponent's Elestral's effects. So having a seven attack monster in Elestral and it cannot be targeted? Ha! <laughs> You're done. I'm now going to enter the battle phase and destroy your measly little monster. Go, Necroff! This right follow me. So I gotta say right now, Triff's setup is looking pretty good. But rule number one, I gotta be calm under pressure. That is pretty fire, but it's all good. So go into the underworld. Underworld. And let's see, what am I gonna pick here? So now I get to pick. Whoa, one. what are you doing? This has an effect? That's the effect. And this is what I love about this card, as I said. So now I can special enchant one monster, one Alestro with an enchantment cost of one in defense position. Plus I'll cast one in the next turn, meaning I'll have two monsters instead of one. Oh, I just thought your foamy was an ugly dolphin. And you know what? Because my brother keeps wanting to talk shit, talk about my foamy. I'm gonna bring out another foamy. <laughs> Show him how it's done. All right, foamy. And guys, at the moment, I had to ex expend a lot of spirits, How many spirits and enchant a lot. I only have 11 spirits left in my in my spirit deck. Perfect. Which does seem low, but I'm convinced with a high attack monster like Necroft, my brother will not be able to clear it when it is cannot be targeted by Alestro's effects at seven attack. So it's at a seven now, eh? Yes, and it cannot be targeted. It's no problem. Are you scared, brother? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Oh, ready? For my turn, I will set. Not one, but two cards. Two? Face down. Additionally, I will summon a Pharos in Fair. defense position. Okay. Because as they say, defense wins championships. Defense wins championships if your offense sucks. So you're a Pharos and here. And I will end my turn. Thank you. All right. So he's, my brother is setting up a wall, That's which right. is very good. You know, it's similar to you, Gil. You have to set up a wall when your opponent... Uh, clearly is the superior player at the game. So I'm going to draw one card because it's my turn and I could do that. Now I'm going to go to my main phase. A few plays I can do here, brother. Mm. And they all spell disaster for you. <laughs> I'm going to play my stadium card. My stadium rune. Volcanic Forge. Mm. So it illustrals, you only have one stadium rune per turn. Similar to a field spell. From 2007. So the effect of Volcanic Forge, all Illustros on the field gain one attack and one defense for each enchanting fire spirit. Last time I checked, doesn't water beat fire? Not when I play, because you don't gain anything. But my Necroft now gains an attack of a lot. It's at eight. Ooh. Yes. My next move. What's its defense? One. Uh, two. Nice. Yes. My next move. I am going to use Hephaestus' special. I'm not going to disenchant a fire spirit underneath Hephaestus because it's a divine rune and I can do that. And I'll add an artifact. I will search for an artifact from my deck to my hand. Okay. That's All right. no problem. Do you like this hammer of Hephaestus? It's good for now. It's because for now. let's get on another hammer of Hephaestus. Oh. But I will save this one in my hand for a rainy day. Because you're playing a water deck. 
And next, I will summon. Oh, oh, this is oh, brother. This is all over for you. Your guys do have quite a lot of uh, defense there, but there'll be no match for my Valkyries. Valkyries' ability. This Valkyries gains one attack for every enchanting fire on the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 attack! <laughs> Plus one, 11! So that means that my Volcaries is at 11 attack. That's it? That also means that my Necroft will be at 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's at 9. 11 and 9. You scared, brother? I'm not scared at all. Can Look I at my field! <laughs> I will now enter the battle phase. You love your foamy so much, right? You love your foamy so much, right? We'll like him in the graveyard. Wool carries, kill him. No problem. Let me just activate foamy's effect. You can and gain one more monster for my defensive battleground. As you can see, my spirit deck still remains stronger than yours, and that's why I'm gonna beat you. Are you done your turn yet? Yeah, I'm done. When it goes to the battle phase, there's no main phase two. So every dueling's player watching this definitely loves this game. I'll go to end phase. Your turn, brother. All right, I'm gonna be. So how, how many spear? How many spears? Do you, how many spears do you have left? That's right. You can ask at any time how many spears yes. I have. I have one, two, three, four. I have sixteen. Sixteen. I have nine. So my brother's winning the spirit battle, but you're winning. But similarly to Yu-Gi-Oh, life points don't matter until you get to zero. So spirit decks don't matter until you get to zero. So I don't care about it. I can have one. I have the more superior field. So this is looking bad for you. I draw. Yes, I have five cards in my hand and you have three. Oh, this isn't good for you. It's not good for you. Oh, this is not good for you right now. Let me just start by doing something right here real quick. All right. I activate Tsunami. Huh? That's right. Tsunami means that I can flip all the non-water enchanted monsters in defense. What? So you thought your attack was really good. <laughs> and now I have to pay the cost. Oh my oh god. god. You pay your enchantment cost of one water spear. So all they go to defense and it doesn't target? A small cost for a great oh, reward. Oh no. So what's your defense at here? It's defense of two, defense of three. Two and three. I'll flip. No. Wait, you guys are two attacks. Okay, ah, two. We're okay. Two next, attack. What a baby. Two attack. <laughs> I'll summon. I two attack when I was two. Veritaqua. And Veritaqua. I'll, I'll enchant him with. I'll cast and enchant him with a water spirit. Now, again, I just want to clarify in our decks, we have water, earth, fire, wind, you thunder. The reason I want to choose a water spirit is because then I can use his effect. I can still use one of the other spirits and cast him, but I won't be able to use this great effect, which is when this Veritaqua attacks a defense Elestral, you destroy that Elestral and negate its effect. Man, if I didn't have such big biceps, I'd be so scared right now. <laughs> My Trying to Poseidon! That's right. Oh, now, no! This will raise my Apheros' attack no. to four. Apheros, Don't do it. enter the battle phase. Don't do it! Eliminate this no. stupid one right no. here. Veritaqua, get rid of Necroft right now. Oh no. And I'll end my turn. Oh, how the tides oh, my. shifted. I see what you did there. That's what it is. <laughs> oh no. Beautiful. So just to clarify, Trident of Poseidon, that's basically the same thing that he had, the Hammer of Hephaestion, where now I can gain two attack, thus having enough to send him to the underworld. That's really scary, man. Sorry, I'll be so I, scared. I, yeah. Yo, I didn't have another Necro! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'll enter the battle phase. Necro, destroy Aphoros. At Necro's special ability, you will now need to expend an additional spirit from your spirit deck. I'll choose to expend a fire one. Fire one need that as well. Thank you. Thank so, you. Can, can I, I have it? I need I need some fire spirits. Hell no. No. My fire spirits. I thought we were brothers. Sorry. It's okay. I will pass my turn. I will say, I probably had a tactical error there 
spending so much spirits to empower a weak a weak Alestro. You should have saved no, your no, resources no. to power your strong Alestros. Lucky for me, all my Alestros are powerful. Because my yeah. deck is best. I because my deck is a Tervernal deck. I understand that, but at the end of the day, I still don't like that Necroft. And I want him again. I want him out of here. No, all right. Let him stay. He's so, a good boy. You know, he's a good they boy. have the one saying that your opponent brings fire. You gotta fight fire with fire. No! So I'm summoning no! War Might. With War Might, no! your attack goes down oh four. My God. I attack directly. Oh. Necroft. Get off. Get out this field right oh. now. I'll make a curse at you. Veritaqua. Direct oh. attack at the spirit. And tell me what your spirit deck is at after, please. I have seven cards in my spirit deck. This is getting close. How many do you have in your spirit deck? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, this is getting close. Nine. Nine? nine. Oh, this, this is getting, getting close. Intense. I can't lose this game, guys. All right. Michael. Your turn. Come on. Give me a good monster, baby. <laughs> I like that look. You don't got nothing, man. I have a bad <laughs> poker face, guys. So, you have your War Might that gains a fire from my Volcanic Forge. So, you have four. And your other monsters at three. Thank you for summoning that volcanic forty, by the way. Oh, I appreciate that. The strategy did not go as planned, sadly. All right, my next move. I'm gonna summon one of my favorite cards in this game. The effect of my ass rabbit allows me to look at the top three cards of my deck and search. Every time Astrap it receives a Thunder Spirit, and on this casting enchantment, it receives one, I'm able to look at the top three cards of my deck and add the best one to my hand. Similar to Pot of Duality in Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you know what Pot of Duality does in Yu-Gi-Oh? No. You're about to find out. <laughs> so the top three cards. Spoiters! Gorgon's Gaze. Hmm. You know what? Spoiter has some high defense. I'm going to have to look at my hand and think this one through. What happened to defense doesn't matter. You're you, right. You see, it doesn't. You see what's winning, and now you want to... I want Gorgon's Gaze. I want to steal your strategy of defense. Yeah. All right. I'm all out of attack. Yeah. I'll take Gorgon's Gaze. All I'm going to say, you might not have a chance to play that. The game might be done by Whoa. the Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. You know what, brother? I'm going to have to set one and uh, leave it to you. Go ahead. I draw. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright Well I drew a card I really like the card Probably sucks but It's I'm probably not. good In my hands I'm not gonna play it yet What I am gonna so do So you're scared I'm gonna save it You're gonna save it And I'm gonna summon Okay More fire Fire Cinder No So that means You're just stealing my strategies Just as Hey Take what is useful, discard what is not. Nice. That's a, that's a nice quote. Bruce Lee. So, <laughs> <laughs> the first three cards go straight to your underworld. There is no going to your hand with these ones. No. And now, Cinder is up one Earthquake. attack. Earthquake! Lucky. Warmite is up one attack. Necrov! God, Leo! It's so Beautiful. lucky. Veritaqua, I attack. With Veritaqua's effect. Oh, yeah, I had a special ability. It destroys the Alestro oh! and it negates the effect. Despite being one less. Now, War Might, attack directly. Cinder, attack directly. Oh. That's two, I believe, spirits to the underworld. And I'll end my turn there. Guys. Sorry I had to do it to you, brother. In the words of my great hero. Oh, no. Never say never. Oh, no. Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, my. You're sick, man. I don't need it. JB in a battle like this. <sighs> Things aren't looking good here, guys. Things are looking very good. All right. I'm going to take a, a high risk, high reward move here. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> dun, dun. Mm, this is tough choices. Those who don't take risks, don't drink champagne. I just want to throw out, while you're looking for things, 
I can beat you by getting your spirit deck to zero, but I can also beat you by getting your electral deck to zero. Yes. So if I keep using Cinder's effect and discarding more and more cards by adding an extra spirit on it every turn, then that can definitely go be for it. Strategy. Go for it, brother. Okay. I'm just saying. Here's my move. I will take a chance. Cool me in attack position. Attack position. Yes, I'll <laughs> enchant it by summoning one. What are you laughing at? He's Look cute. At this card. That's the most pathetic card I've ever seen. He's cute. Life. He's gonna Effect. attack. All right, let's attack. Let's Draw one it. card. Here it goes. I have a bad feeling about this. Here it goes. Come on. Do it. Ah! <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. When you believe. When you believe. Anything is possible. Yo, Romero. Anything is possible when you believe. Yes. What the hell is in your hand, man? I will activate my Hammer of Hephaestus! This makes it so I equip to my Clovey that cannot be targeted, and it'll be a five attack! <laughs> five attack points! One spirit left in my deck, that's all I need! Clovey, destroy Warmites! No! No. And he cannot be targeted, and it is five attack! Oh, this game just got real, man. I was about to. I'll pass. It's over for you, brother. I need a card here. I need a card. So you're at five attack? Five attack. How are you at five? Because the effect of Hammer of Festus says that Empowered Elestral gains one attack for every enchanted rune on my field. And I have three enchanted runes on my field. Oh my goodness. And if Hephaestus is enchanted, it's enchanted, it cannot be targeted. I understand. Let me just check my card here real quick. It's all on my Clovey here, guys. If my Clovey leaves the field, I'm doomed. I have one spirit card left. So <laughs> I really need to rely on my Clovey. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I'm so sorry right now. What are you laughing at? Listen, I appreciate when you put a lot of effort into this game. But at the end of the day... It doesn't matter because of my counter rune. No! Resting on your laurels. No! It says when your opponent has more enchanting spirits on the field than you do, target and destroy the opponent's Elestral with the least number of enchanting spirits. And since you only have one Elestral, Clovey's going straight to where it belongs. And I will use this Leviathan to activate it. I'm sorry, brother. This is just the way it has to be. Wait Tell a me. second. You can let me know, man. <laughs> nice try, brother. Do you uh, like to read? Clearly not. Because <laughs> it says target huh? and destroy the opponent's Elestral. Oh! And it cannot be targeted. <laughs> Let's go! Never give up. Oh. Never give up. All right. So this cannot even be activated. See? I, it's it, good to read, Yu-Gi-Oh players. That's and okay. illustrious players, hello. That's okay. So you're at five attack, is what you're Five attack. Me right it's not bad. I can literally hear you quaking. Are you scared, brother? <laughs> I end my turn, man. I don't want to hear it. Draws. The end is nigh. Nice. I will use Clovey to destroy this card. Vertaqua? Is Vertina Underworld. Pass. All right, all right. Okay. How many spirits do you have left? One. You have one? Yeah. I have... Three, four. Oh, I have eight. Oh, I have seven. Okay. Why am I worried? Why would I do that? You're scared. Just admit it. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, brother, this is where we say our final goodbyes, as they say. First things first. Don't do it. I'll activate Atlantis. Atlantis! Replacing your fuel. No! Car. Now remember, there can only be one at a time, so yours goes straight to where it belongs. Next up. That also means that my Clovey goes down to four. Your Clovey goes down to four. That's right. And I'll put this down. That's for next turn. And 
I will summon Glauby. Glauby! Wow. Here's how I'm going to do this. So, I will take Vipro, the spirit from Cinder, and I'll add another Vipro spirit, and I will summon Glauby. Now, you guys might be thinking, how can I do that if it's not a water? That's okay. All it means is it's misenchanted. That means I can't use its effect, but its attack and defense stats stay the same. With Atlantis, its attack is now at six. That means Clovey, back to the underworld. Out of here. No! I need, oh, I need two spirits. And I end my turn. So my last spirit's gone. I can't even summon no more. So that means the next attack I lose. I can't play no cards. I have no Because they all require right. spirits. So what are you doing? I have to pass my turn. <laughs> I draw. No! I have no spirits when I don't attack. You win when you attack with no spirits left. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God, wait! Attack. Wait! Before you attack. I will jump off this ledge if you attack. <laughs> no, I'm not I'll jump off this ledge if you attack. Hold on. Don't attack. Hold on. Hold on. Attack. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals card game, available now on Kickstarter.